What's up guys? JP here and I'm having a problem with my 2004 Chrysler Town & Country. Um, I have a, I guess it's called a smart key, chipped key, whatever, key fob, got the unlock buttons, the rear hatch button, the two doors in the panic. It's an expensive key fob and the problem I'm having is that my ignition lock cylinder will not turn. So I played with it, played with it, played with it. I tried using graphite, different things. But anyway, so I have a, um, I have a trick here. I've taken all these panels off and everything. Um, basically, all you're going to need is like a Phillips head screwdriver and a Torx bit for, there, there's a piece right here that after you get the upper and lower shell off, this piece right here really gets in your way and you need it off as well it takes a torx let's see if we can get that here um i will put in the description which size it is i do not recall anyway so took everything off and my guess is that a tumbler is hung up in the up position inside the lock cylinder and it needs to be down in order for the lock cylinder to turn so I take my screwdriver i take a wrench place the screwdriver right here there's a plastic piece here part of the steering column here go right between those take it tap it three times key turns all right therefore you can have that in the on position so that you can take the um, lock cylinder out now because you you have to have an on position to get the lock cylinder out without taking all this steering column apart um the next thing once you get in the on position there are plenty of videos out there about how to get this lock cylinder out i would suggest taking the lock cylinder to a locksmith to try to get it repaired um, as opposed to buying a new lock cylinder and going through buying a new key fob getting your key fob cloned and getting it cut to fit your new lock cylinder all that stuff that, that costs you like 400 bucks just to get one key so if you've already got a couple of keys for this like i do save money take this to the locksmith see what they can do with it see already it's not working again screwdriver wrench that oh, didn't work that time there you go on so Again, I would suggest taking it to a locksmith, see if they can either remove the tumbler that's hanging up or repair it. It's probably a lot cheaper than going through getting new keys. All right, guys, be sure to like this video. Hit the subscribe button for more content. Have a good day.